another edition of ESUP Sports Center News. I'm your host, Dee Dee Seifel, and this is none other than No Appeal. We thank you for joining us today, and let's get right to the upward action. Noah? Thank you, co host All season long, we have followed the extraordinary effort by the Upward Kings. Coach Glorietta has been, has taken veteran player Alfonso Fuzzball and his motley crew of players and molded them into a well-oiled athletic machine. That's right, Noah. We've witnessed a complete transformation by this team. The coach has resurrected a losing season, which now holds great promise. And today's game is no less impressive. The Kings needed this game to make the playoffs, and boy, did they deliver. Let's send it down to Mervyn Butts, our courtside reporter. Good afternoon, folks. I'm here courtside with the Upward Kings head coach, Glorietta Hasbin, and two team members, Mark and Fuzz. Coach, we saw today yet another wild ride of events with one of the nuttiest finishes I've ever seen. Walk us through this final play. I told Mark to be looking for Fuzz underneath the hoop. You thought maybe Fuzz would have been paying a little better attention. Mark did just what he was told. <laughs> and he threw the ball up to Fuzz. And well, I guess you can say Fuzz for the first time used his head. Now that was some kind of fast, kid. Thanks, but I give all the glory to Jesus. That seems to be the virtue of this team. Their attitude, their performance, and their triumphs come from their desire to glorify God. Fuzz, what do you think? I am Fat Man. Well, Dee Dee and Noah, I guess Fuzz doesn't have much to contribute at this juncture. I'm Irvin Butts, ESUP Sports Center News. Now back to you. That was a close game. You could say that win was plucked from the jaws of defeat. What do you think about that, Doris? Uh, it's still Dee Dee. But interestingly enough, that game-winning play today reminds me of an amazing Old Testament gentleman who also shares your name. Peel? Not your last name, your first name. How many concussions did you have? They say this job would require no math. <laughs> Never mind. Listen. I'm speaking about one of the most faithful men in the Bible, and his name, like yours, is Noah. Really? Really. After God had created the world, many people turned away from God. Their disobedience and rebellion angered God, and it broke his heart. He made the decision to destroy his creation with a flood, but there was one very faithful person. Darla, was it Noah? You got it. Noah and his family put their faith and trust in God. God told Noah that he would send a flood and instructed Noah to build an ark as big as a ship, big enough to house two of every animal and every creature that walked the planet. That couldn't have been easy. To say the least, and it wasn't popular either. How so? Well, God told Noah to build an ark because he was sending a flood to destroy the world. The people of that day had never even seen rain before. They were living for themselves, and they wanted nothing to do with Noah's prediction or his God. But Noah followed God's plan, and he hammered, and he nailed, and he worked, and he worked for more than 100 years of faithful obedience. All the while, the onlookers scoffed and didn't believe. What happened next? Did it rain? It did rain, but Noah and his family got on the ark. God chose to rescue Noah and his family and all the animals. The world was flooded, but they were saved. Their faith in God saved them, much like our lives have been saved by Jesus. He says in the book of John, verse 10, 28, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. That verse offers true comfort, Noah. How's that? Once you become a Christian, you are part of God's family and you can never be taken away from him. You are safe, like Noah on the ark. Or like the day's wind. It couldn't be taken from the upward kings. I guess you could say Fuzz and his faithful team managed to stay afloat and are sailing toward the playoffs. I'm glad you're paying attention, Noah. Well, that wraps up another week of Upward Basketball coverage. For everyone here at ESUP Sports Center News, I'm Dee Dee Seifel. And I'm Noah Peel, the other Noah. Please join us here next week 
for more exciting upward basketball action.